Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, I usually do like a full auto tip. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to call it an ammo tip. Um, with the current stupid prices of ammunition, sometimes you don't get to buy your preferred ammo, um, whether it be Winchester White Box or Tula whatever you prefer. I'm going to tell you an ammo I think you should stay away from. This is a factory ammo. I'm not talking about reloads. I'm not talking about manuf brief manufacturing. I'm talking about a factory name brand ammo that I have had nothing but problems with. That's Winchester USA Forged. Okay. That's their steel cased in this case, nine millimeter. I haven't tried any of their other steel cases, even if there isn't any other. Um, I bought this when Walmart was dumping their pistol ammo, and I was able to get like, I don't know, eight or nine, 150 round boxes for pretty cheap. Figured it'd be great. I shoot a lot of sub guns. Well, first thing I found out, it doesn't really work in sub guns. Primers are too soft, lots of out of battery explosions. So I said, well, I'll use it in my hand guns. My primary handgun is a SIG 226-229. Uh, um, I also have a Glock 18, a uh, Beretta 92. I have lots of handguns. So let me tell you about my experience. These absolutely suck. And I'll tell you what I have found. First, if we can, we're going to zoom in. I have a Fiocchi 9mm next to one of these Winchester rounds. If you, as you can see, overall length appears to be the same. I believe the uh, it, the case on the Winchester may be a little shorter, so it's not an overall length problem. I don't have a micrometer to do this, but I don't believe it's an overall length problem. The problem with these mag these these bullets, besides the fact that the primers are super soft and they, they aren't good for like an open bolt submachine gun, is for some unknown reason. In certain magazines, they drag. All right, these are two factory SIG, what I call zipper mags, so they're German mags. This one's a 20, this one's a 15 for a 226. I could only get 18 in this. I could physically not push any more than 18 in it. When loading, when I when I was trying out Glock magazines, I tried to load these Winchesters into a Magpul Glock magazine and it held 21. I got 16. AC Unity, I got, uh, not AC Unity, the Korean Glock mags, I got 15 and 18 respectively in a, in a, in a, in a 30 round magazine. They just bind up. Um, what I'm, I'll, I'm going to try to give you a demonstration on what, I, what I'm talking about. As I click, click these out, watch how slow the bullets come up. Now, look at that. They are dragging. I just loaded these magazines. Do you see? And these aren't cheap magazines. These are the good SIG zipper mags. And then when you get down to the last couple, it doesn't seem to bother you. The 20 rounder, which I, as I said, could only get 18 in. See how they're dragging? So what I'm trying to tell you is, in today's world, you may not get a chance to buy whatever you normally use with the ammo shortage and the, and, and the panic buying with uh, the uh, Cyrus virus and the uh, election results. So if you have a chance to buy these, you may not be real happy with the performance you get. Now, if you want to download your magazines, maybe load five or six, they'll probably work. Um, you're not shooting a subgun, they'll probably work. Um, are they worth the money if, if we were living in a real world where ammunition it was available? No. Tula, Wolf, way better steel cases than this. Any brass cased ammo I've ever found that's factory made is way better than this. So, what I'm trying to tell you is, if you don't have to, don't buy this garbage. Thanks for coming to my channels.